hello programmers spider is back with one another video in this video we are going to see how we can deploy deploy our python streamlit web application into the aws ec2 so in previous video i already explained this in news of python application uh, that we created using streamlit now the same application i'm going to deploy into the ec2 so if you want to see how i created the application if you want to know the core concept of the application then you uh, you just need to see this video in this video i'm just going to uh, deploy the same application into the ec2 so now uh, this is uh, our official starting of the aws series so i'm going to start the aws tutorial as well so in future video i will create the videos regarding the aws's popular services like ec2 lambda stage maker and all so subscribe machine learning hub youtube channel you will get a lots of content so let's get start so for aws you need to create a one aws free account so at the time of creation uh, they will ask you for the credit card information so you need to just enter your credit card details you don't need to worry because aws is providing the free tire for the 12 months so in free tire you will get a 750 hours of the ec2 amazon s3 5gp so there are you can see this they, uh, these all are the benefits of the free tire that you can use as a free but limited amount of the resources are free but if you are going to use the more than limitation then obviously it will be charged so in this video we are going to create a one ec2 so if you don't know what is the ec2 so let me tell you in the one line ec2 is the elastic compute it means it is a virtual server so like around 10 years back or 15 years back when the cloud computing was not in the market what people are doing people are purchasing the own servers and deploying the website or web application or whatever content now maintaining the server is a very difficult thing so that's why cloud computing came into the market now we don't need to worry about the security maintenance hardware infrastructure all the all the things are maintaining maintaining by the provider so here our provider is the aws so aws is responsible for physical server security and all the related uh, infrastructure management we just need to pay for what we are going to use so that's how the aws is working so now let's focus on the our topic now uh, this is your uh, your aws console so uh, and right side you can select the region so currently i'm working uh, like in india so i just need to choose the asia specific ap south one which is mumbai region if you are from other country then you can choose the region according to your now search for this uh, ec2 in this search bar you just write ec you will get ec2 virtual servers in the cloud click on that we are going to create a one ec2 okay currently i don't have any running ec2 instance you can see this is the dashboard of our instances now we need to launch a one instance click on this launch button i'm going to give the name okay my caps lock is on just make it turn of python web server because i'm going to deploy python web application okay this is the name now application in os so amazon machine image machine image means uh, which operating system that you want to run into your ec2 so i'm just i'm just going to choose this free tier eligible which is amazon linux 2 ami either you can choose the make ubuntu windows but make os is a paid it will charge you but you can choose any free tier so you can see this amazon linux 2 which is available into the free tier you can choose the ubuntu ubuntu is also free but i'm um, now i'm leaving as it, it is default instance type instant type means what uh, type means uh, the memory one gb of the memory one uh, one virtual cpu you will get now instance type is the most important configuration into the ec2 why the reason is that uh, you can see this nano micro micro small medium large so according to your application load you need to choose the your instance type c if you want to deploy a machine learning kind of the application into the ec2 then this t2 micro will not work because it is coming with the 1 gb memory and 1 gb uh, one virtual cpu so obviously it will not work so if i want uh, application that is containing the tensorflow keras machine learning and heavy image processing then i should choose the t2 medium or t2 large but obviously again it is chargeable because you can see there is a no free tire eligible written here so i'm going to choose the t2 micro uh, t2 micro you can see 1 gb memory because the application that i am deploying this in news which is not actually heavy uh, heavy task application it is very lightweight application so i can deploy just for example i just want to show you how you can do this thing now key pair key pair is uh, for authentication authentication means how you can connect with your server so this is the key pair you just need to provide your name so i'm just uh, providing the same name that i have given to the my server so that i can 
in future i can use uh, means i can decode which keys for the which server so python web server now two two types dot pm dot ppk now pm for the ubuntu it, it will work with the ssh ppk file will uh, work with the putty with means you can use it in windows but if you are a linux user then just go for the pm but again uh, if you are a windows user then what you need to do just download the git bash into your system then you can use the all the ssh and linux command and again then you, you can use the same pm file for it so git down you can download the git bash and you can use the pm file as well so pm file will be much more easier to authenticate i am creating the key pair now this key pair will download only one time so remember if you are going to delete this file or misplace this file then you cannot again connect with your instance okay now key pair is done now network setting now network setting you what you need to do uh, just uh, you you just need to change anything here just remember this option auto assign public ip it should be enabled sometime it is disabled by default you just need to enable it now click on the edit you we need to edit some point here the first is uh, we need to add the inbound security group rule now if you don't know what is the inbound security group rule, rule i will explain it later after the deployment but what you need to do just you need to click on this add security group role now you need to enter the port see if i am going to deploy our application into the ec2 right my my application port my application is using the some port as example this stream rate application is going to use the 8501 port now i should have the access of that port so that so here i am giving the access of this port 8501 so here choose the custom tcp port range is 8501 because i am use, using this port if i am going to deploy another application which is using the 5000 port then i need to write 5000 here source type should be anywhere okay so this is the setting yeah now we don't need to change anything now configure storage so ec2 will come with the ebs ebs means elastic block storage so by default it uh, ec2 is giving you the 8 gb of the storage so you can uh, use it for the data data set or any other processing file you can use it so just by default leave as it is leave as it is okay so this is a summary so just once again check the summary like ami amazon linux some uh, image i'm choosing t2 micro launch instance so after the launching instance it will take a time around two to three minutes you can see instant state after the coming this you you just need to focus on it so after one or two minutes it will become the green and after become a green around after one or two minute the status check will be passed like two of two so you need to wait for uh, that around two to three minutes so let's see okay now you can see instant state is running and status check two of two status check is passed okay so now my instance is accessible and i can do whatever i want with my instance now click on this instance id now there are dozen of the things are available here you don't need to focus anywhere but you need to see this public ipv4 address now remember until that you can means if you are not going to assign the elastic ip to your ec2 until that it, the, this ip will be changed when you are going to uh, re, means sh shut down the instance and once again if you are going to start this will be changed so remember this point if you are giving this url to someone and if suddenly you restart uh, means power off and once again turn on the instant then this ip will be changed okay so th uh, this is the address where your ad uh, website will be host okay now we need to connect with our instance there are two options one easy option is the ec2 instance connect when you are going to click on this connect it will open the new window but now i'm going to show the way of the terminal how we can do the connect uh, connection with the terminal i just need to go to the download folder where my key file is located at the uh, pm file click on the open in terminal okay so my uh, file should be available here into this where where i opened a terminal now copy this command chmod 400 so what i'm doing is i'm just changing the few permission of that pm file okay the permission is changed now click uh, click on this command so what this command is do doing this is going to do ssh and it is going to connect with your instance uh, yes right yes here and now you are connected with your ec2 instance okay i'm just going to zoom a little bit so you guys can 
see it in good i hope my recording is not stop okay now my instance is turn on and i am into the system when you are going to boot your ec2 first time then just use this sudo su work always as a root user now another thing is update all the packages so yum update so this is the command so it will update all the packages so this is the uh, most important step that you need to follow the first okay now make sure you should have the install git okay so what you need to do yum install git because i am going to clone the repository so git is going to install here okay git is done now i'm going i should have this repository in my ec2 just i'm cloning this repository git clone and paste that command yeah cloning is done now let's check ls yeah my repository is available now i'm going to check python 3 is available or not yeah 3.7 python is available already into the system let's check for the pip pip is not there vm install python 3 pip let's check okay i think there is uh okay pip is installed okay python 3 dash m pip yeah so that's how you i can access the pip now i need to install all the requirements of my this repository because uh that's how this application is going to run into the ec2 so i already explained this in my previous video so currently what i'm going to do is just installing all the requirements necessary which is necessary for my this application so what i'm going to do right python 3 dash m pip install okay still i'm not into the directory so first i need to go into the directory now python 3 dash m pip install dash r requirement dot txt now i'm going to install all the requirements of my python file so it will be installed in few minutes okay you can see my all the requirements are installed successfully now i think we are done let's check our application is running or not just write python 3 dash m now the command of the running you just need to run this application as you are running into the local streamlit run file name app.py okay now this network url you will not work into the ct you just need to click on this external url and you can see our application is running see this port application is deployed into this 8501 so you remember that i have given the uh, let me show you in security i have given the access of the 8501 port into this inbound rules okay if i am going to remove this access now then this application will not work here okay let's see it is working real time or not i'm just clicking on the trending news and you can see today is a ganesh chaturthi and i'm getting the ganesh chaturthi live updates okay it's uh, working fine still if you, we want to check more topics okay let me find some ahmedabad news okay so this is atal foot river which is a new thing in Ahmedabad so these all are the latest news that I'm getting so I can agree that my application is working fine okay now there is one thing if you want to deploy this site into the permanently into EC2 let me show you with example if I'm going to close this terminal or either I can control C this okay now if I'm going to refresh this this is not going to work uh, now you are thinking what to do so for that I have one command that command will run your application continuously if you are going to even close the terminal uh, still ap your application will run but you make sure your instance should be on it should not be otherwise it will be off okay so the command is no hub n o h u p now again after this command you just need to write whatever the same command that we already written python 3 dash m streamlit run app dot py okay now this command will not show you mean no hop ignoring input and appending output okay so you don't need to worry about now again the refresh this page and you can see your application is running now 
let us see I am going to close this terminal ok this is the terminal part I am just going to close this ok now I just close the terminal see still my application is running now if I want to see app, uh, if you want to share this URL to your friend or whatever you want to share just copy this URL let us see it is working in a uh, incognito window or not see it is working and EC2 is the most powerful thing rather than other sources or other services this is working very fine and fluently let's see okay so I'm getting the all the news in very faster actually it is very faster than my local machine the same application if I'm running into the local the response time would be not much faster so that's how you can permanently deploy your python application into the ec2 now again one question is there and what is that question if you want to stop the running of the application because see the the, the amount you are going to consume the charge you will get okay now after some time you want to close this application how you can do again what you need to do you just need to connect to your instant make sure your instant is running continuously because your application is there and running okay now how to stop that ser uh, service so wh what actually that no op command is doing it is running your service continuously uh, even after closing the terminal the service is running into the ec2 so that's how you can permanently deploy your application but now i want to close that so click on connect once again copy this command i'm going to the terminal paste here i'm once again i'm going to connect with my ec2 uh, let's little bit zoom in okay now there is a one command okay first i need to make as a sudo su now ps means processes dash ef so what it will give it will give me the running processes of my ec2 and you if you able to find python 3m stream lead run app dot pies process this process is running continuously just because of the no hub command okay how to kill this process so you need to get this pid you can see this is the pid means process id section so every process will have the unique id so just found your this uh, command here means this python 3 process here and this is the process id 6831 now what i need to write kill 6831 enter and if i am going to refresh the site I'm sure it will not work and obviously it will not work because I have stopped the process uh, process once again if I want to check so once again I just need to run the same command whatever it is like no hop python 3 dash m stream lit run okay I'm forget I'm not in the directory so once again no hop dash m python 3 or just no hop python 3 dash m streamlit run app dot py once again i'm going to refresh this page and you can see my application is back and now see after the running this command if you are going to press the control c now it will be stopped so make sure after the running the no hop command you directly close your terminal shell otherwise it will be stopped okay so that's what i want to show you so guys i think i am done from my side and make sure if you are a uh, uh, just making a practice of it so what you need to do just terminate this instance after the usage otherwise it will charge you the law currently in free tire it will not take the charges but after the crossing the free tire you will get a charge but charge is very minimal but if you are going to use the high uh, means high consumption then obviously it will be charged so guys uh, i will be back with the more ec2 lambda and sagemaker videos so recently i just passed the aws machine learning specialty certification so i'm currently working as a machine learning engineer and working with the aws services and especially with the sagemaker so there are lots of tutorials coming into the future so just like and share this video don't forget to subscribe machine learning hub youtube channel see you into the next one bye